Imagine a rocky outcrop bathed in the warm glow of the African sun. The landscape is rugged yet beautiful, with the sun casting long shadows and highlighting the textures of the rocks. The air is warm, filled with the sounds of nature, and the occasional rustle of leaves as a gentle breeze passes through. Suddenly, a flash of brilliant blue catches your eye. It's a startling contrast against the earthy tones of the rocks and the green foliage. This flash of color is not just a random occurrence. It is a signal, a display of life and vitality in this harsh environment. A male rock agama, resplendent in his breeding colors, perches atop the highest point, his throat a vibrant orange, a stark contrast against his azure body. His colors are not just for show. They are a crucial part of his identity, a way to attract mates and assert dominance over his territory. He bobs his head rhythmically, performing a captivating dance for the less vibrant yet equally fascinating females nearby. This head-bobbing display is a form of communication, a way to signal his presence and readiness to mate. The females watch intently, their muted colors blending into the background, yet their roles are equally important in this intricate dance of life. This is the world of the Agama lizard, a world teeming with color, fascinating behaviors and remarkable adaptations. Each movement, each display is a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of these creatures. They have evolved to thrive in some of the most challenging environments on Earth. These captivating creatures belonging to the family Agamidae are a common sight across much of the African continent as well as parts of Asia and even Southern Europe. Their ability to adapt to different environments is truly remarkable, showcasing the diversity and resilience of life on our planet. Join me as we delve into the captivating lives of these remarkable reptiles, exploring their diverse habitats, intriguing social interactions and the crucial role they play in the delicate balance of nature. From the rocky outcrops of Africa to the varied landscapes of Asia and Europe, the Agama lizard story is one of survival, adaptation and the vibrant tapestry of life. Agamas are a diverse group with over 300 species, each adapted to thrive in a variety of environments, from arid deserts to lush forests. These fascinating reptiles have evolved to occupy different ecological niches, showcasing an incredible range of adaptations. Each species boasts unique physical characteristics, making them easily distinguishable from one another. Some have elongated bodies, while others are more robust, with variations in scale patterns and textures. Ranging in size from a few inches to over a foot long, their most striking feature is undoubtedly their coloration. This vibrant palette is not just for show, it plays a crucial role in their survival and social interactions. Males, particularly during the breeding season, often sport a dazzling array of colors, which can change depending on their mood or social status. These colors are not just for attracting mates, but also for warding off rivals. From the electric blues and oranges of the rock agama, which can be seen basking on sunlit rocks, to the more subdued yet equally striking hues of other species, these colors are a visual feast. The red-headed agama, for instance, displays striking reds and yellows, especially during the breeding season, making them stand out against the green foliage of their habitat. This vibrant display serves a crucial purpose, attracting mates and establishing dominance. Males with the brightest colors are often the most successful in securing territories and mates. Females, in contrast, typically display more subdued hues which provide excellent camouflage against predators. This is particularly important when they are nesting and need to remain hidden to protect their eggs. Their ability to blend into their surroundings is a key survival strategy, allowing them to avoid detection by predators while they care for their young. This stark difference in appearance between the sexes, known as sexual dimorphism, plays a vital role in their complex social interactions. It helps in identifying potential mates and rivals, ensuring the continuation of their species. Agamas have successfully colonized a wide range of habitats, demonstrating remarkable adaptability. From the rocky outcrops and savannas of Africa to the forests and even urban areas of Asia, these resourceful reptiles have carved out their niches. Some species, like the red-headed agama, prefer drier, more arid environments, while others, such as the forest agama, thrive in more humid, tropical regions. Their ability to thrive in a variety of environments is a testament to their resilience and adaptability. Whether basking on sun-drenched rocks, scaling trees in search of insects, or even foraging for food in gardens and parks, 
Agamas have proven themselves to be true survivors. The life of an Agama is a constant cycle of basking, foraging and defending their territory. As ectothermic creatures, they rely on external heat sources to regulate their body temperature, hence their penchant for sun-drenched perches. Once their body temperature reaches the optimal level, they become active and set out in search of food. Agamas are primarily diurnal, meaning they are most active during the day. Males are highly territorial, using a combination of head bobs, push-ups and throat expansions to ward off rivals and attract mates. These displays, often accompanied by dramatic colour changes, are a fascinating spectacle to behold. Section 5. A varied appetite. From insects to vegetation, agamas are opportunistic feeders, their diet consisting mainly of insects, spiders and other small invertebrates. Their powerful jaws and sharp teeth make quick work of crunchy beetles, juicy caterpillars and unsuspecting grasshoppers. However, their diet isn't limited to meaty morsels. Many species supplement their diet with fruits, flowers and vegetation, particularly during the dry season when insects are scarce. This adaptability in their feeding habits contributes to their success um, in diverse environments. Section 6. The Circle of Life. Courtship, nesting and new beginnings. The breeding season for agamas typically coincides with the rainy season when food is abundant. This period of plenty ensures that the lizards have the necessary resources to support the energy-intensive activities of courtship, mating and raising their young. The rains bring a burst of life to their habitat, with insects and other prey becoming more plentiful, providing a rich diet for the eggamas. After a captivating courtship display involving vibrant colours and energetic head bobs, the male agama lizard showcases his fitness and attractiveness to potential mates. These displays are not just for show, they are crucial in establishing dominance and securing a mate. The male approaches the female to mate, a process that is both delicate and strategic. The female's choice is influenced by the male's display, ensuring that only the fittest genes are passed on to the next generation. Once fertilized, the female carefully selects a suitable nesting site, often a burrow or a crevice in the ground. This choice is critical for the survival of her offspring as the right location can provide protection from predators and harsh environmental conditions. She lays a clutch of eggs, which she will then diligently care for. The number of eggs can vary greatly depending on the species, with some laying just a few and others laying dozens. The number varying depending on the species, each egg representing a potential new life. The female's role doesn't end with laying the eggs, she must also ensure they are well hidden and protected. She covers them with soil or sand, creating a natural incubator that helps regulate temperature and humidity, crucial factors for the development of the embryos inside the eggs. The incubation period can last several weeks, during which the eggs are vulnerable to various threats. However, the carefully chosen nesting site and the protective covering give them a fighting chance. With the hatchlings emerging as miniature replicas of their parents, they are immediately thrust into a world full of challenges and opportunities. These tiny lizards must quickly learn to fend for themselves, finding food and avoiding predators. Ready to embark on their own adventures in the vast expanse of their habitat, these young agamas will grow and eventually repeat the cycle, contributing to the ongoing story of their species' survival and adaptation. Section 7, Nature's Balancing Act, the Agamas' place in the ecosystem. Agamas play a vital role in the delicate balance of their ecosystems. As both predators and prey, they help regulate populations of insects and other invertebrates, preventing any one species from becoming too dominant. Their eggs and hatchlings serve as a food source for birds, snakes and other reptiles, contributing to the intricate web of life. Furthermore, their presence, or lack thereof, can serve as an indicator of environmental health. Changes in agama populations can signal habitat degradation, pollution or other environmental stresses, providing valuable insights for conservation efforts. Section 8. A future uncertain conservation and the importance of protection. While many agama species are relatively common and their populations stable, others face increasing threats from habitat loss, degradation, and the illegal pet trade. As humans continue to encroach upon their natural habitats, 
It is crucial that we prioritize the protection of these fascinating creatures and the environments they call home. Conservation efforts such as habitat restoration, responsible land management practices and public education campaigns are essential to ensure the long-term survival of these captivating reptiles. By understanding their ecological importance and the threats they face, we can all play a part in safeguarding their future.